Okay, as a middle-aged woman of 56 and a family of four adults living under one home, I'll do anything to make life simpler. Put the coffee maker next to the sink. So all you have to do to fill the canister or fill the water compartment is to take the sprayer and put it right in there and then you don't have to go and take something else to fill it and put it in. You're done in seconds. While we're on the subject of the coffee maker, they have these amazing little things. They're just little sliders that you can put underneath your heavy appliances. When you need to pull it out from underneath the cabinet, you can slide it out easily and put it back. The cool thing about these is that they come in bigger sheets and then you can just cut them down with simple scissors. I've had these for quite a few weeks now and they have not frayed. I can clean them with just a simple washcloth. This thing slides right out so easy. They have made a world of difference. I don't like to keep a lot of things next to my sink, but two things that I do keep out all the time is obviously our soap and then a couple scrubbers. But I also like to corral these on a tray. The problem is, is this is always getting wet and getting dirty. So my simple solution was to just take a simple white washcloth, fold it up and put it underneath the two. All I have to do is switch out the washcloth maybe once a week and the tray stays dry and I don't have to worry about a mess all around the soap. We are, since we are a family of four, we're constantly using drinking cups and we don't like to use a new one each time we take a drink. We usually use one drinking cup and use that throughout the day. But I also don't really like seeing these out on the counter. I had a different form of this for quite a while, but I just switched to this from Target. I actually don't even know <laughs> what it is. A cupcake goes under it? I have no clue. Maybe cheese? Anyways, I threw away the glass things because I didn't know what to do with them. But the tray themselves have a little divot in it so you can put a cup of any size. I put it out on the counter and each person has their own little cup area so they don't use a new cup each time. At the end of the night, we put the cup in the dishwasher and then the next day, we start with a new one. This way it always looks neat and uncluttered. Okay, this is nothing new, but I just want to remind you that one of the easiest ways to keep things accessible, to keep things organized, is using Lazy Susans. I have these throughout my entire house. I have it underneath my sink for all my cleaning supplies because I do not want to go all the way back to that cabinet to get things. I have it for my vitamins. I have it for my spices. I have it in my laundry room for all my laundry supplies. Lazy Susan's, poor Susan. Who was Susan? Was she lazy? I feel bad. These things are game changer as far as I'm concerned. I use them throughout my entire house and I'm always coming up with new ways of using them. I think one of the hardest things to organize is glass and plastic containers. One of the things that has worked for me is to make sure I put the lids on all of our containers and I've been storing them sideways instead of stacking them on top of each other. I don't have a tall cabinet, but I do have this pull out drawer. So it's just easy to put the lid directly on the container, line them up, and it has worked beautifully. Most of the time, I will admit that my children, when they take my children, my adult children, when they empty the dishwasher, they don't always like to match up the lids. So they leave them on the counter for me to do that. It's just not a mess anymore. So to me, it's a win. Of course, I realize not everybody has a large drawer. So obviously you need to work with what works for you and your space. Okay, one of the things that drives us all crazy is in the middle of the night when you need to go use the restroom and you throw up the lid of the toilet and it bangs against the, what's that thing called behind it? The back of the toilet. <laughs> and it wakes everybody up. My solution to that was just put a washcloth draped over it and whenever that lid goes up, it never bangs. No one ever gets woken up and it's just like the perfect little solution. Now in our upstairs bathroom, one of the things that my husband just put on is a slow closing lid. So it's wonderful to just put that thing down and it just closes nice and quiet. The hard part is, is we have different ones in our bathroom. The upstairs one has that and the downstairs one doesn't. So therefore, we forget. All of us have done it. We've banged the thing down. <laughs>
So my recommendation is if you're going to do one of your toilets with this slow closing lid, you should do them all at the same time. The traditional bathroom usually has a towel rod that they can go ahead and put their towel on there or a hand towel. Get rid of the rods. The towels never look organized. They never look neat and nobody ever, especially my adult children, make it look neat after they have used it. My solution is use hooks. Have a hook for every single towel. Have extra hooks in case you have guests come in. This has been a game changer in our bathroom to keep it nice and neat. I do have a towel rod for our hand towel. That's going to get switched out when we eventually paint this bathroom. But if you're switching things out, do not use a towel rod. Use a hook. In my quest for simplism, not minimalism, but simplism, one of the things that I am trying to do is to get less stuff on our counter. Now we have a small kitchen, so I don't think it's ever going to be completely clear of clutter, but one of the things that I did do that made a huge difference was to put a paper towel roll underneath our sink. Now, that's nothing new. People have done this. The most logical place is behind the center of the cabinet. So my cabinet has two doors, and in the center of it is where those doors close into. Right directly behind that, I mounted just one of those very cheap plastic paper towel holders, like Walmart or Target or Amazon. Cheapest you can find is great. It is the perfect place because nothing else really can go there. I think I've had it there for at least two years. It's worked great. Now we have one full bath in our home and we have four adults. So one of the game changers that we did was to take all the soap and the shampoo and the conditioner, all the products out of the tub area. And I gave everybody a space to keep all of their stuff. Now we kind of treat it as if like we're at a dorm. When you're in a dorm, you have all your stuff in your room and you take it in a container and you bring it into the bathroom and then you take it back out when you leave. Now we don't take it to our bedroom. We do have a space in the bathroom for everybody. So if you want to know how I tackled that whole thing and organized it, I will take you to this video. It will show you the beginning to the end on how we organized our whole tub area. So now there is hardly anything in that tub area and it is so easy to clean. I will see you maybe in that one or another one. God bless.